Alright guys, in this video you will learn how to make a quit button really simple and fast. So when you press quit, it debug.logs quit. This actually quits the game, but you can't quit inside of the inspector. And I promise you guys this works. So let's hop into it. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to make a button. So I'll right click, go down to UI, and press button. Now creating a button will automatically create a canvas for me. And let's just double tap that canvas. Now let's just rename this canvas to main canvas. And I'll rename this button to quit button. Next, what we want to do is create an empty game object and then reset the transform on it just for good practice. Then we'll name it scene loader because it will do just that. And to center the button, I'll just go into this rec transform. And while holding down options, I'm not sure what it is on PC, you just select the center one. And now I can scale it up easily. All right, that I'll have to do for now. And let's go and read to the text to quit. And make it about maybe 70 or maybe 100. And now I'm going to go into my scene loader game object and add a component. And this is going to be a script and I'm going to call it scene loader. Now this should be a universal script for whatever game you're making. You should only have one scene loader and any scene loaded relating things you do should be done in that script. Now I just make a folder and call it scripts for good practice and drag it in there and go ahead and open up your scene loader. All right, so we're not going to be needing start or update, but we are going to be making one function and it's going to be a public void public because we want the button to access it and I'm just going to call it quit game and to quit game all you have to do is go application dot quit and since that is a method we put parentheses there and that's it that's that's literally it now you can't quit the game inside of the inspector so we'll just debug dot log for now and we'll just say quit save up the script back to unity now what you want to do is you want to go to the button and scroll down and find an on click event and just add one now you get this just go ahead and drag in your scene loader game object now make sure you have your scene loader script on the scene loader game object go back to the quit button <clears throat> and add a function here and we want to reference the scene loader script and we want to find the method that we created mine was called quit game and that's it. Now if we hit play, open up my console, and press the quit button, it quits. Now I promise you this works guys, you just can't quit in the inspector. Thank you guys for watching, and if this video helped you out, consider subscribing and like the video, and with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.